You know, what's really interesting is now we're in the middle of a legislative discussion with an actual climate bill. <clears throat> and I'm sure that there are going to be some people who are going to look and judge our position on this particular climate bill and make the claim that we are not in support of a climate policy. Now, let me be clear. We are in support of a mandatory federal program to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But we've also said that that bill also must go to a step further than just reducing emissions. It's got to protect and promote greater energy independence in our country. And it also has to protect consumers and guarantee that consumers are protected against higher energy costs. That will protect our economy as well as doing the right things for our environment. And so with respect to the Waxman-Markey bill, we really do recognize uh, the Chairman Waxman, uh, Chairman Markey, particularly Congressman Boucher and their other colleagues on the Energy and Commerce Committee have worked very hard to improve this bill. But there are still some improvements that are needed to this bill before we can say that this bill would be affordable and therefore effective. We've said in this economy a bill is going to have to be affordable in, in order to be effective. Uh, President Obama has described climate legislation saying if it's not affordable, people aren't going to do it. We feel the same way. And we feel that Congress can pass a bill that is both affordable and effective. And that's why we're staying engaged in the game to talk with those who are involved in the House debate as well as those on the Senate debate to talk about how it is we get a bill that is both those two important things, affordable and effective.